Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. How I feel. <laughs> now Gracie's walking. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. All right, so last week, I showed you how to make Disney Dole Whip, and I decided I'm making a series out of this. So this is gonna be installment two of Kyle in the Kitchen. And today we're making another famous Disney snack. Drum roll, please. We're making Disney churros. Disney churros. All right, I love me some Disney churros. And the recipe is literally so easy. I took Spanish all through middle school and high school, and we always made churros when we had like a class party. And I just, I love churros so much. So we're gonna make some Disney churros today. All right, let me show you the ingredients. So all you need is sugar, flour, salt, three eggs, cinnamon, butter, and a dipping sauce. So you could use any type of dipping you want. I'm gonna use me some Nutella because Nutella makes everything better. This is not the official Nutella. It's just an off brand that I got at Target because I'm cheap. So let's get cooking. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is put one cup water into a large sauce bowl. You're also gonna want to put in eight teaspoons of, or eight tablespoons of butter. Um, so one whole stick of butter goes right into your, your pan. So you have your one cup of water, your eight tablespoons of butter. You also need um, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So that can just go right in there. And then you also need three fourths of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So we can just... Pop that one, two, three. All right, so in your bowl, you have your one cup of water, your stick of butter, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and three fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're gonna heat up this until it comes to a rolling boil. So now that your cinnamon, water, and butter mixture is coming to a rolling boil, next you're gonna reduce your heat to low and you're gonna combine one and one fourth cup of flour and stir vigorously until it forms a ball. And then you're gonna remove it from the heat and let it rest for five to seven minutes. So let's go ahead and put in our, our flour. So one and one fourth cup of flour. And then we're gonna stir, 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 and stir until it forms a, a nice ball. Once you put in your flour, it's gonna turn to this thick dough. So you're just gonna let this rest now for five to seven minutes. So while our dough mixture is cooling over here for seven minutes, let's go ahead and make our cinnamon and sugar mix that we're gonna toss our churro bites in. So for this, all you need is a half a cup of sugar. Oh, I put too much cinnamon in that thing. So I did put, I did put too much cinnamon in the mixture, but that's okay. Um, you were only supposed to put one fourth of the teaspoon, but I put it all in there. Um, so that's not supposed to happen. I guess it really just is personal preference. Whatever you choose to do, I'm sure it's still gonna taste delicious. Trial and error over here, trial and error. So while our dough mixture is cooling over here for seven minutes, let's go ahead and make our 
cinnamon and sugar mix that we're gonna toss our churro bites into. Um, I just wanna let you guys know, you are not supposed to put three fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon into here. You were supposed to divide that. So um, only one fourth of a teaspoon was supposed to go in your dough mix, not all of it. Um, but that's okay. Um, it'll just be a little extra cinnamon -y. That's not a word. So in your sugar mix, you're gonna do two fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon and then just mix it up. So grab yourself a fork and just mix up your cinnamon and sugar mixture. Oh, it smells so good. I love, love cinnamon. Yes, I do. All right, your cinnamon and sugar mixture is done. So that is what we will toss the churros into once this is cool. So now that our dough mixture is cool, we are going to add three eggs into um, the mix, one at a time. So one, you literally just one at a time right in there. Egg two. And then your last egg. It's gonna look a little slimy, but the more you mix it, the more it's gonna, it's all gonna come together into a nice, like, a nice dough, a nice sticky dough. You just have to keep really working in all those eggs in order to get it to, um, the texture it is supposed to supposed to be. And I'll bring you guys around and show you inside the pot so you can see what it's supposed to look like once you have all of your eggs mixed in. This is the texture that your dough should be once all of those once all of those eggs are mixed in. It should be a nice thick dough. It should not be slimy and all of the eggs should be completely um, mixed in. Now that your dough mixture, your churro mixture is ready, the next step is to put it in a Ziploc baggie. And if you have a piping tip, use that. If not, just snip the end off. Do not make the same mistake I made last week and snip too big of an end off because that will not work. So, in order to do this, grab yourself a pair of scissors, snip off a little end of your Ziploc baggie. All right, so you have your snip off, open it up, take your piping tip if you have one, whoops, and just push it, mm, push it, push it real good. Right like that. And then you have yourself a little piping tip, a little piping bag. What am I trying to say? I have no idea. So then the next thing, you're just gonna put your churro dough right in here. And it should come out of your pan fairly, fairly easily. And then seal it up. And then you'll just squeeze it right into your oil. So let's head on back over to the stove and I'll show you the next step. So your next step is to get a nice deep pan and you're going to fill it with vegetable oil or canola oil. I have vegetable oil right here and it's one and a half cups. So one and a half cups or, you know, whatever you feel looks right. I'm just gonna use the rest of this and it's just enough to fry them. And I'm gonna put this on medium heat and let this heat up and get all ready. So while our oil is heating up, I'm gonna show you some of the tools that you're gonna need while you start making your churros. A good pair of tongs are gonna come in handy and a little scoop to scoop them out of the oil as well. And then as you're squeezing um, your mixture out of the bag, you're gonna want to snip it off to get um, your little bites. And as they are done, just grab a plate with some paper towels and the paper towels will absorb all of the oil. Also, an apron will come in handy. Um, this one is from 
Ratatouille. We got this in Disneyland Paris. And hopefully once the Remy ride comes to Disney World, everyone in the US will be able to get this amazing Remy apron. All right, so all of our churros are now all fried up. This batter makes a, a whole plate full. It makes a lot. So the next step is to give them a cinnamon and sugar bath. I should get another plate though, a nice platter to put them on. So we're just going to throw them in the cinnamon and sugar bath, swirl them around and make sure you get them all covered. You cannot have too much cinnamon and sugar. No one ever said that's too much sugar. No one. Unless you have diabetes, then that's probably, you know, an acceptable excuse. You just throw them in there, not all at once, because you want some room to roll them all around. My cats are saying hi, if you can hear them in the background, they're all meowing. I think they want some churros too. They look so good, guys. I can't wait to give them a taste. All right, for your dipping sauce, I am choosing to use, oops. Holy moly, that's good. I am choosing to use Nutella, but like I said earlier, it's the generic brand because, you know, it's still delicious. So just spoon a little bit into a little dish and pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds just to make it melty. Let's just do 10 to 15 seconds in the microwave just to heat it up. Sounds like it's ready. You want it to freely move in your dish so it's nice and dippable. And that is it. If you want extra cinnamon, just leave that out. Um, I would save all that, do not throw it away. Put it in a little dish and then you have leftover cinnamon and sugar because you never know when you're gonna need it. Nothing goes to waste. And that's it, the official Disney Parks blog recipe for Disneyland churros. Let's give it a, you got a taste test. I mean, come on. Here we go. Shut the freaking heck up. Another win. If you like cinnamon and dough and carbs and Nutella, you're gonna freaking love this. Oh my God, I'm just gonna eat all of this. So good. Oh my God. That is so good. Another success, guys, another success. Next week, I am gonna show you how to make another Disney snack. So make sure that you get yourself subscribed to my channel so you know when new content is posted. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that bell icon to get notified when new videos like this are posted. Next week, Kyle in the Kitchen, we're gonna make another famous Disney snack, so you do not wanna miss it. Until next week, guys, have a magical day, and I will see you real soon. Bye. Oh my God, I have a tip for you guys. I'm back, I'm just kidding, I didn't go anywhere. If you guys wanna hack, take your excess cinnamon, put it in a little like personal bowl, dip your churro, in your dipping sauce and then dip it in your cinnamon and sugar mixture. There's a hack for you guys, you're welcome.